Hi, welcome to a new vlog. My name's Lee. If you've never been here before, that's me. Welcome. I'm happy to have you. It's storming today. I have a lamp on. It's, it's dark as night and it's afternoon. Let me give you the exact time. It is 10.30 a.m. Did you see that lightning? Pretty cool. Pretty cozy. It's really cozy in here. Um, you hear that oh! thunder? Um, welcome to a new video. Grab your water. It's still thundering. Grab your water. Stay hydrated, but not too hydrated. That could be bad, but stay hydrated enough. Um, I think most people need a little reminder. I even need a reminder. Honestly, the reminders in my own videos work on me. Like the video if you're the kind of person who likes a video before you watch it. I am that person. I um, love to pre-game with a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and or just clicked on this video and you're like, man, I love this girl immediately. Subscribe, very cool. Enjoy the video, I'm happy to have you. I do a, quite a bit of painting in this video and I'm really proud of what I made, so I hope that you enjoy. Cheers, much love, XOXO. see it? Yeah. That's good unless you want to look. <laughs> I like that they say apple cheeks on the mm -hmm. And these, this is Donnie and this is Honey. Like it. It magnets to the top. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How funny. I like that sock funny. Yeah, I noticed this one does too. <laughs> Stop the camera, stop the camera. Check your camera, check your camera. Okay, the lighting is a little intense right now. It's like very bright here, but I I went out went out in, in Cincinnati today and I got a few things. I went, let me change the angle. I met up with my sister and her boyfriend Josh and James came and we went to a bunch of shops in, in downtown Cincinnati, which I typically don't do, but I did stop by the art supply store and I found like a stationary store, like literally just pens and notebooks and tapes and stuff. I've never been in it. Walked by it many times. I didn't even know it was a stationery store. What did I think it was? I thought I thought it was a card store. That's what I thought it was. Here's a little here's a little share of what I got. Some thick Poscas. I got this really thick black Posca. I think I'm gonna love this in my mega sketchbook. And then I got two more thick, um, thick ones. I've never had this mega size, but I have had this large size, which I really like in like a light yellow and a neon. So a neon yellow. So I'm glad to have these. I've been really into using my Micron pens. Um, I started using Microns in my in my little sketchbook, my my traveling sketchbook, and I got the 08, which I really like. But I wanted to experiment with a little thinner, thinner one, so I got the 03 and 0, 0, 0, 03 and the 05. I also picked up some other pens I've never seen before. I got a Stedler Lumo Color Non Permanent, and then I got a Stedler Permanent. Lumo color. I don't know, but I got them. I love pens. I also got the Pilot Razor Point. I just like Pilot pens, so I, anytime I see Pilot, I'm like, I'll try. And I also got this light magenta acrylic paint because in this art store, I had the idea to make this video where I made art inspired by my trip. And you see, Amarel uses this pink, and I love it. So I got this pink at the little at the little stationery store called Paper Wings. I got these two. I don't now that I have these. I don't know how I'm gonna sharpen them, but these fluorescent. I don't know how to say the the brand name. 
I got these. I don't know if it's focused. The sun is blaring into my face. Um, neon colored pencils. If you know me, you know I am crazy for my neon pink Prismacolor colored pencils. So I think these will be a real treat. I also grabbed some mild, mild liner pens. I didn't even test these colors. I just thought they were cute. Have a look. You think these are cute? Cause like they are pretty cute, I think. We'll see what they look like. I just grabbed them at checkout. I know I'm gonna use them. Like I use all the art supplies I have. This is kind of fun. This is a little unexpected. There were all these little like vintage um, ceramic like plant holders, planters. Sarah's, my sister's boyfriend, Josh, picked up this one and was like, I want you to have this. Let me get it for your birthday. That was months ago because I never got you a gift. So he got me this. I love their eyebrows. I actually can't get enough of the eyebrow situation. Um, and I'm just gonna put my, my pens in here. Maybe my, I'll switch out the mugs on my desk, which would be a big deal because I've had the same mugs on my desk for a while. Um, but I think it's so, so funny. Um, and that's all I got. That's my little, my little thing. So hope you liked. I would like to take this moment to thank our sponsor, Pila. Pila's mission is to create a waste-free future. Pila's products are totally compostable, which means they will break down in your backyard or industrial compost. If you wanna get your own Pila products, you can use the code Lee or the link in my description to get 40% off your purchase. After the first 50 subscribers use the code, it will be 25% off. Thank you, Pila, for sponsoring this video. Big news for the studio, I got some new plants. I've been wanting to get new plants for a while. I have these pots just laying around. The pot that that rubber tree is in though has been in the hallway of my studio since I moved in. And I was like, that's enough. I will take it and put a plant in it. Now she is, sh she is in my studio and she's stolen from the hallway. I'm not sure if it's considered stolen if it was abandoned, but it is what it is. Um, really thrilled to have some new plants. My new studio is, the lighting is just a little different than my old one. I have w like four west facing windows and then one south facing window, window I believe. I don't, I, it could be north or south, I'm not sure. But it just is a, very intense in the afternoon and I've been trying to figure out what my plants like we're still working around it so that's that's all i have to say about that i don't know why i really brought that up but check out these little treasures i got at the local antique mall the jaguar or is it a jaguar the spotted one the leopard it's a leopard isn't it yeah um do jaguars come in spots because i feel like they do i don't know Anyways, I love it. It goes with my little tiger thing I already had on my shelf and it was made in Japan and I always pick up little ceramics that were made in Japan. I don't know. I just love them. They're, they're definitely my favorites. Here's me reorganizing my shelves. I stole Cheyenne Barton's way of organizing postcards. Um, she reached out to me a little bit ago and she was like, hey, how do you organize your postcards? And I was like, I literally have them just laying on my shelves, taking up way too much room. And she was like, hmm, interesting. This is how I do it. And I was like, oh, so you're a genius. Heard that. So I copied her and I just saw that Studio Megan copied her. So we all want to be Cheyenne Barton and that's okay. I mean... I feel like I'm one step closer by organizing my Patreon postcards like that. If you didn't really see, it's like she she put her postcards. I'm gonna have a really hard time describing this because it's hard to describe. So she has her postcards organized by month and then there's like little um, tabs of paper above them with the month and the year. And the year. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. That wasn't hard at all to describe. Sometimes when I start filming voiceovers, I like my brain goes numb. Like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so welcome to my voiceover brain. This is great. An awesome artist sent me this vase that I put these flowers in and it's so beautiful. I feel so honored to have it. I can't 
say their Instagram handle, so I will put it on screen. And it was just so generous of them to send me this piece. It's big and monumentous and beautiful, and I'm so lucky to have it. I think it's so special. Also, the kitchen on it really looks like my kitchen. Like it really looks like my kitchen. Like there's an old stove in it that looks like my old stove and I have big windows in my kitchen. It just, I showed it to my roommates and they were like, is that supposed to be our kitchen? And I was like, I don't think so, but it is meant to be, um, which was very special. Speaking of the antique mall that I was speaking about maybe five minutes ago, jumping back to that little segment, I went to the antique mall, got those little goodies, but I also took a bunch of reference photos, um, just like of anything I thought was cute. I took like 20 reference photos while I was there. This is something I've never really done intentionally, but I took these photos to draw. And the next day I took myself to a coffee shop, sat down with my sketchbook and just drew all the reference photos I took. And I had a grand old time. I, it was such a fun experience. I truly recommend it. I personally am really into vintage ceramics and weird little, little porcelain things. So I took a lot of pictures of the pictures of, of that kind of thing at the Santique mall and drew them. And just like taking the time to be intentional and take some reference photos and being able to sit down and have a bunch of things collected for me to draw when I was making art and I don't know, such a good experience. I had so much fun and I just never, I don't do, I don't take myself out to draw enough. And I think it's so fun. Usually when I draw out and about, I'm like waiting for food or like I'm with someone and I do like a little, little doodle here and there, but I'm never like really sitting down to draw. So that was cool. Here I am literally destroying the painting you just watched me make. <laughs> Like, I, I panic started cutting this. I hated the painting. I put way too many layers on the background, cut it up. I actually felt a lot better and I'm about to talk about it in the next clip. So um, I'm happy for me and I'm happy for how this painting turned out. <laughs> See ya. Hello. <sighs> just kind of comfortable. Got my little ducky. Um, hi, it's it's Friday, July 22nd. It is very, very hot outside. Very, very hot outside. Um, the weather app says that it's 93 degrees, but says it feels like 100 degrees, which is pretty unfortunate because I started my period today and it's just one of those days. It's one of those period starting days. If you have a period, it's just like, one of those yeah i came to the studio to maybe draw draw a little bit we'll see if we'll get in if we get into that but first we're gonna chat uh i made a painting yesterday you probably saw the the clips already i'm assuming that i'll put this after the clips of me making the painting of the flowers and the beautiful ceramic vase that was sent to me loved beginning that painting i was getting into that painting and i was like man it's been a while i haven't painted in a while I'm made for this. I love painting. She gets into the background part of the painting. Makes such unfortunate decisions. I did try to um, salvage the painting. I was like, I'll just change the background color. And then I was like, I'll change the background color again. I'll put texture on the, on the, on the bottom part. I'll just draw some fish to make some interest because the composition is a little weird. I stepped back. I was not happy with it. So I moved her over to this table and decided to cut it, cut off the background parts that I didn't like. I did end up liking the checkerboard, like quilt looking table type area. And I cut out a couple of the fish from the fish draw drawings and made sort of a collage on a big white piece of paper. I tried to glue it on with a normal Elmer's purple glue stick it's not strong enough and like i kind of knew that going in plus like there's oil and pastels all over the bottom of it which are just getting everywhere and like i can't press the glue into the paper because if i do like the oil pastels are just gonna be like blah, blah, blah. i don't think the glue's strong enough it's all i have though i don't even know why i have uh, a glue stick 
Otherwise, things are things are as usual. Packing Patreon rewards from July, those are all sent. I updated the Patreon shop. If you're a little puppy patron, I added May and June's Patreon rewards to the secret Patreon shop. Um, if you don't know about the secret Patreon shop, I sell my um, I sell my my older Patreon designs on it. That's what that is. It is updated. If you're a little puppy patron and wanted some little goodies, I also put some older designs on sale. So. Check her out if you are interested. I think I need I need to hop off because I'm feeling a bit of brain fog. I hope everyone is well drinking water. I've been chugging water today in hopes that it will save me from any period pain. Is it working? No. <laughs> Am I doing it anyways? Yeah, you never know. Things could change. Anything could happen. Um, but TTYL, bye bye. While I pack these Patreon orders, I'm going to answer a few cues from my Instagram followers. I don't know why I said cues. I'm just going to say questions instead. Cues is actually probably harder to say. Uh, my first question I'm going to take is from Maradia. She asked me, what do you do when you're feeling overwhelmed? I'm going to give you two things that I do no matter what is making me overwhelmed. One, I always make a list of things that I need to do. Because typically when I'm overwhelmed, it's just like things hanging over my head and I have, I warp the perspective of what I need to do into something that's usually bigger than what I actually have to do. So making a physical and visual list for myself to look at helps me prioritize what I need to be doing first or sometimes someone's running like a, a weed whacker outside, don't be mad at me. Um, sometimes it helps me see the smaller tasks within, within the bigger tasks and I can kind of sort sort my things better. My second thing that I always do, I mean I always go for walks, but when I'm overwhelmed, a walk with no headphones and no music, no podcast, nothing going into my brain, just me processing my thoughts. Do not quote me on this, but I think it's actually a thing where like your brain can process your thoughts better if you are in motion and walking. Do not quote me on that. I feel like I made it up, but it also stands true for me personally. So a walk always helps me, just like a, a nothingness walk. Even if it's just like 15 or 20 minutes, I feel better. I always feel better, so that's highly recommended. It's uh, Monday, July 25th. I just walked into the studio, but yesterday I started this painting, which I filmed. I'm very proud of myself for filming it because I didn't intend to film it, but I'm glad that I did. Yesterday I was packing all the Patreon shop orders and I was looking around at my paintings and I was like, I, I feel like painting right now. Yesterday, when I, when I looked at the canvas, I was like, I don't wanna do this. I don't have the spark today. I just like kind of, I feel like painting, but I don't feel like getting getting into it. Like I don't feel like like really getting into something. I just kind of feel like painting. And then I did start painting it. I kind of flipped through my sketchbooks looking for something. I have a sketch, let me find it. I found this reference. It's like um, 1800s British English like ceramic dog thing, which I've been drawing them a lot. I had, I saw this sketch. I was flipping through the sketchbook. I saw this sketch and I was like, oh yeah, I really 
liked that reference. Um, so I'm working from just like um, an 1800s ceramic dog thing. And I, I'm changing plenty of it, like the dog doesn't look the same. And I'm changing the colors and some like little additions. Most of my big canvases I'll do like a recreation of a photo I've taken. Like my past ones have been like a photo from Asheville in the mountains or a photo of Toady by some flowers or like a real photo that I took, I'll, I'll paint it. But this is the first time like I'm kind of making more things up and um, experimenting, which made it a little scarier. The whole time I was painting this, I was just like <laughs> scared, Whoa! scared that I was gonna ruin it. At other times, like I was really enjoying painting, but most of the time I was just kind of scared because I, I feel like I don't have a lot of experience in what I was doing. So I was like, what am I doing? But now I'm at a point in the painting where I'm like, I like it like this. There's something about a work in progress painting that is just, I love in progress paintings. I love the looseness. I love the, um, you can see the underpainting in a lot of areas. And I just love that like human touch feeling of the paint rather than like a more finished piece. And it has me questioning. Should I stop here? I don't know. My, my thing I've been trying to learn for actual years in art is when I should stop. One of my, my professors in college came up to me and she was like, hey, um, I think something you should work on is figuring out when to stop because I'll come over and see your drawing or work midway through and I'm, it's looking good and then you just like go way too hard to try and like finish it. And I think it's always kind of been hard for me because I work really fast. I was always faster than everyone in my class, so I'd try to work as long as everyone else was working, and then I just ended up just like overworking stuff. So like they would just get muddy and weird. And now I'm like, should I, should I stop now? Cause I like it right now. For sure, I like it right now. I think I'll work on it just a little bit. Just a little bit, I'm gonna try and leave some like of the organicness to it and maybe clean up some edges, like differentiate some, some of the shapes and stuff and then just like leave it. I'm just gonna work on it for a little bit longer. Wish me luck. <laughs> Going to start this next voiceover with a banger of a question. Goth Cowboy asks, please tell us how your day would be affected by Toadie and James swapping bodies. Um, this sounds absolutely terrible, terrible. If you don't know, Toadie is my dog and James is my best friend and studio assistant. One, James would be staring at me all day and I would have to feed him and walk him and like i would have to hold on to him so he wouldn't run away because i wouldn't be able to put a leash on him because that would be really weird um like i would have to hold on to his hand ew that would be unpleasant um and he'd probably like sit on the rug next to me while i worked i am repulsed by this as of james and toady's body i would like i i would definitely look like i have a really well-trained dog because it would be James and he would just uh, do whatever I told him because he knows English. On, on, this, on the downside, James wouldn't be able to talk to me at all unless he could learn how to type with little doggy paws. I don't see us being able to communicate very well and that's kind of a huge part of you know having a friend and studio assistant. So I would definitely be losing an employee, gaining a really weirdly smart dog so I would rate that experience at a two out of 10, only giving it a couple couple uh, points because I think it would be interesting and that's it. It sounds like a curse, an actual curse. Gonna cap this beautiful Q&A that I've recorded over these clips with a question from the Clay Agenda. They ask, what is your favorite thing to do just for yourself? I'm gonna list a few things. I know they only asked for one. One, working out whether it be an actual workout at the gym, climbing, doing yoga in my room, walking, vacuuming. I do consider vacuuming to be a workout because it is, and sometimes it makes me sweat. So 
I love to do that for myself. It's so gratifying. I feel good afterwards. I'm proud of myself. Always a good time. I also want to give a shout out to cleaning, to to washing all of my bed sheets. That's an amazing feeling. Like I'm very proud of myself for doing that and it feels so good. And it's literally just for me. Toadie could care less. Making myself a matcha in the morning. Love that for me. I'm out of time, so we're going to end there, but I could keep going if I really wanted to, you know what I mean? So I, I did work on it. I I feel pretty, pretty good about almost being done with it because I'm not going to overwork it. I've been looking at this for too long that I'm starting to hate it. I'm going to clean up my paintbrushes, walk home, make lunch, come back, have a fresh look at it, and decide if it's done or not. I think it's cute, but I also hate it. We're back from lunch. It was about an hour. I went home. I heated up some soup. Now, it has been extremely hot, but today it's not as hot. I made soup for James because he had a little like stomach bug, and then I've been eating the leftovers. <laughs> Soup's so good. It just is so upsetting when it's so hot you can't have soup, you know what I mean? Anyways, here's the painting. I'm gonna mark it as complete for now. I can always come back and work on it. I know that I won't do that, but I always could. I was just listening to some uh, Patreon podcasts is why my headphones are dangling around. Very cool. I, I think it's fine. I like that you can, you can kind of see like the sketch lines here. You can kind of see the sketch lines here and around the tree. I think it makes it more like active and loose. Um, I like the color palette I chose. Like the colors is what I'm here for. I think the imagery is cute, but the colors, I think we're done. You like it? Leave a comment down below with um, whatever you want to name this dog. Accepting all names, please let me know and we will pick out uh, the best name. Thanks. Hi again, I am in my same little cozy storming studio for the closeout of this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. It's very cool. I love it. I absolutely adore that you're here. I absolutely adore that. Um, but I hope that you drank some water, enjoyed the video, enjoyed watching me paint, <laughs> and enjoyed my, my voiceover where I was literally losing my mind a little bit at some points. I don't know, I'm proud of it. Like the video if you haven't yet. Subscribe to my channel, it's very good. Um, I wanna give a shout out to my little puppy patrons. Thank you patrons for supporting me. I feel so special to have all of you, whether you've been a patron before or you might be a patron in the future. You currently are a patron. Much love, very much love to you and yours. And that's it, that's it for me. That is it. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thank you, bye. It's thundering. Am I scared? No. No.